All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Quinn, your health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk. I hope everybody's had a wonderful week. Uh, we're going to get into a good abs and core session today and get a, two circuits after a warm up and then a little bit of stretching at the end, keeping things rolling how we have been the past couple of weeks. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get down onto one knee here and we're going to do some forward lunges, starting to warm up the hips and the legs, kind of get everything moving all together in one plane here. So we're going to just drive that front knee forward, keeping that heel on the ground and pushing straight back. Moving back and forth, trying to get good range through the whole motion here. Controlling and pushing as we're working through here. Let's get a couple more on this side. And switch. Moving through, nice, even pace, trying to drive that knee over the second toe as we come forward, keeping everything moving in a nice, even line. All right, last one, getting deep and out, good. Okay, next up we got our quad rocks. So we're gonna get our hands directly below our shoulders, sticking one leg out to the side. We're gonna just sit back into our hips and move back and forth, working in to that inner thigh here as we stretch out. Just nice and easy, warming up the body. Try and keep your, as you come back up, you wanna try and get those hips in line with the shoulders. So you can just keep rocking back here. Good, go ahead and switch legs. Go nice and gentle, just moving the hips, starting to warm things up a little bit. All right, next up we've got our thread the needle. Just check something here. We've got our thread the needle. So we're going to go again into that quadruped position and we're going to slide one hand underneath the other like armpit, basically getting your hand out wide and sort of laying down onto your shoulders, stretching out the back and twisting up, getting some nice mobility through the spine here. We'll go twice more on this side, stretching through and popping up. One more. And up. Good. Now we do the other side. So we're going to go down, through, laying down on that shoulder, stretching out the back, and rotating up reaching to the sky, twisting all throughout the spine. Oh. I just got to pin my view, there we go. We'll go one more here, twisting through, just warming up the back as we get through our warm up here, last one or second to last one, we've got our glute bridge. So we're gonna lay down flat on our back, heels and feet down on the ground, hands down by the hips. You're gonna press your hips up into the ceiling using your heels to push off of the ground and get those hips straight up so you're nice and in a line from the shoulders, through the hips, through the knees, all one straight line there and back down, up, holding, squeezing those hips together, 
driving through the heels and down, up, holding up, pressing high, one more, and up, good, keep holding, and down, good. Next one, last one of our warm up. we've got our hamstring sweep. So we're gonna pop up onto our feet here. As we perform this, we're gonna step one foot out with the toe pointed upward. We're gonna reach back behind our hips and sweep all the way down to the heels. Make sure you're really reaching back behind you, getting that full stretch as you reach through the floor here. We'll go a couple on this side and switch, reaching all the way behind the heel and sweeping through. And done. All right. Now we're going to get into our first circuit. The first exercise we have is going to be a heel tap crunch. Okay. So we're gonna get down on our mat. You're gonna get your feet a little bit extended out, slight knee bend, and you're gonna crunch up. As you come up, you're gonna tap your heel with your hand and come back down. So up and tap. Nice. Find a good rhythm here for you to get some solid work in. You really wanna Pick up the pace, get the heart rate pumping as we start working here. And rest. Good. Next up, we have our dead bugs. So we're going to lay flat on our back. Knees are going to curl up. Feet are coming off the ground. You got your hands on your knees. And you're going to alternate side to side, getting opposite foot and hand down. Okay, so left leg down, right hand back, right leg down, left hand back, returning back into the middle, touching those knees to the hand each time, and hand to knee. Here we go. So a few more seconds. And rest. Good. Next up, we have our shoulder tap to push up. Okay, so we're gonna go nice and slow here. As we work through, we've got 30 seconds. We're gonna pop up into a full upright plank and we're gonna go shoulder tap on one side, down to a push up, shoulder tap the other side, down to a push up. So nice, even pace, working on keeping those hips Nice and stable as we move through here, not trying to shift our weight too much to one side or the other. Let's go a few more seconds and rest. Good. Next up, we're gonna do a strict plank. So coming back down to the ground for just a second, getting those feet back and forearms down, picking both knees up and we're holding here getting our hips and shoulders in a good line, pushing the body away from the ground with your elbows. So you got some nice support from the shoulders and really engaging a nice line all the way through your body as we're working here. A few more seconds. And rest. Nice job, everybody. Last one of the circuit before we go back to the top. We've got leg raises. So flat down on your back, hands by the hips. Here, extend the feet out. And we're going to bring the legs about three inches off the ground. You can get your hands underneath your hips for a little bit more leverage. But you're just going to bring those feet straight up so you can see them right over your face. Good. Don't use the momentum to bring your feet up. Try and swing them up using your torso and those abdominals down there in your lower hip. 
Really bringing those legs straight up, not swinging as we move through the movement here, trying to control the weight of the legs and rest. Good. All right. Heading back up to the top. We have those heel tap crunches. So we're going to bend the knees or extend the knees out a little bit. As we crunch up, we're bringing that heel up, tapping the hand as we go through here. Nice, even working pace. Getting a good sweat going a little bit. We've got about five more seconds here. Keep going. And rest. Nice. Good job. Now we've got our dead bugs We're still laying on our back here. We're going to bring our feet up off the ground, hands on top of the knees, alternating sides, opposite leg, hand and down, moving through at a nice working pace. Even controlled movements, really focusing on how the body is getting it done. Few more seconds here. And rest. Good. Okay, now we have those shoulder tap push ups. So we're going to get our hands directly below our shoulders here, popping the knees up as the feet come back. And we're pressing down, up, getting that arm across. 30 seconds of shoulder taps in between push-ups. Oh, nice controlled movement and even pace. And rest, good. Next up, we've got our plank. We're going forearms down to the ground, keeping those feet back, knees up, and hips are off the ground. We're pushing away from the ground with our forearms, engaging the shoulders, keeping the hips nice and even with the shoulders. <sighs> Trying to lay just like a two by four, nice and flat. <sighs> Let's go about five more seconds, almost there. And Back down, good. All right, we're going straight into those leg raises. Flip over onto your back, feet out, hands underneath the hips, bringing the feet up, not letting them touch the ground as we come down, but getting nice and low, about heel, about two inches off the ground as you pull those feet up. Really controlling the weight of the leg as it's coming down, not using momentum to swing the body here. we got a few more seconds. And rest. Good. We're going to hop into the second circuit here. The first one we've got is going to be a set of mountain climbers. So we're going to get back into that plank position, feet back, knees up hands underneath the shoulders, and we're gonna be driving the knee to the chest at a quick, fast pace, trying to get some good movement here. Moving for 20 seconds. Keep pushing. And 10 more. And rest, good. Now we're gonna be down on our stomachs. With our hands out, we've got I, Y, T's. So first off, we're gonna have our thumbs pointed up just to keep good reference, but our hands are gonna be straight out in front of us. And we're gonna go extend up, bring the chest up, trying to pull those thumbs behind the head and pushing the fists out, 
and down. Then you're gonna go out at about a 45 degree with the hands and you're gonna come out like a Y, keeping those thumbs back, trying to pull them behind the head, get that chest up, holding and down. Now you're gonna be out at 90 degrees, popping the chest up, thumbs pulling back behind the head, holding and down. One more time through. We're going I, hands up top in front of you, thumbs up, chest up, holding, up and down. Going out for the Y, 45 degree from the shoulder and up, holding up, chest up, pulling those thumbs back and down. Out for the T's, thumbs pointed up and chest up, pinching back. Getting those thumbs up behind the head, holding and down. Good, nice job. Now we're popping up onto all fours into that quad position. We've got bird dogs. So we're gonna be extending out opposite hand, opposite head, leg, just like the dead bugs, alternating sides. We're just now supporting ourselves with the hands and knees instead of laying on our back. So as you extend out, you wanna hold for about five seconds, come down and extend out again. And similar to those shoulder taps as well, you don't wanna shift your weight to one side or the other too much as you're extending out. You wanna try and keep it nice and balanced between the hands and the knees that are down. And keep going, got about 10 more seconds. And down. All right, nice. Now we're going into a bicycle crunch. So we're gonna uh, lay flat on our back. Right here, we're gonna get our hands behind our heads, legs extended out, and we're gonna crunch up, twisting as we bring one knee up and one elbow across our body, tapping the elbow to the knee. So you're going opposite elbow to knee here. Nice, even working pace, really controlling every little second of this movement. Up and down, full control the whole time. A few more. And rest, nice job. All right, next up we've got single leg raises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be straight out and one foot at a time, we're gonna bring the leg straight up and slowly hold all the way back down. You wanna get about a four count down as you bring that leg down nice and slow one at a time. Keeping those feet up off the ground. The heels above the ground. You're not letting them sit on the floor. Just holding that foot up as long as you can. We got one more here. And down. Whew. Those are burners for sure. All right, we got flutter kicks next. Oh, wait. All right. Legs straight out. Heels off the ground. We're going to kick up and down real quick. Fast little kicks. Going quick, as quick as we can with the toes. Just up and down, up and down. Up and down. Good. Now we're going side to side. Side to side. Let's go about 10 more seconds, side to side. And rest, good, all right. Now we've got one more time through. Uh, oh, starting with the mountain climbers, all right? I'm gonna grab a sip of water while it's talking. Makes my, makes my mouth dry. All right. 
We got about exactly 10 minutes here. Let's finish out strong, push through, keep it going. All right. Mountain climbers starting right now, getting the feet back, knees up and driving to the chest, driving those knees up to the chest real quick. Try and go as quick as you can here without shifting weight. We're moving back and forth and controlling the movement. Let's go 15 more seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. Drive those knees. And rest. Good. Going straight down to the ground for I, Y, T's. Okay. And straight out in front. Thumbs pointed up to the sky. We're going to get that chest up, thumbs up. Holding, pulling those shoulders back, getting those thumbs behind the head, punching the fist straight out, getting that chest up and down. Hands out to 45, going for the Y, thumbs up, pulling back, getting those thumbs behind the head. Trying to keep up that chest up, chin up and down. Good. Now the T's all the way out at 90 and up. Getting those thumbs back behind the head, pulling up high to the ceiling, getting those shoulder blades together, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, nice and low and down. We're going up again for the eyes and up. Pulling those shoulders away from the ears, keeping everything nice and pulled down towards the hips and down, out for the Y's, up. Down, out for the T's, last one, and up. And down, good. Now we're popping up for the bird dogs. Alternating hand and leg out as we extend, getting our hands up, holding, and down. Keep going. Find a good pace, stabilize the body, and switch sides. Got a few more seconds here. And rest. All right. Now we're going down. The final three exercises. We got our bike crunches first. All right. So legs out, hands behind the head, and we're going to twist up, bringing that elbow to the opposite knee in a nice controlled movement here, working at a good pace. Keep things moving. Not too slow where you get a lot of rest. Not too fast where it's out of control. A few more seconds. And rest. Good. Next up, we have those leg lifts. So again, one leg at a time. And as you bring the heel back down, you're going to go nice and slow. So get those heels off the ground. One leg up and slow back down nice and slow and up down 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 other leg up nice and slow a few more seconds here Keep it going and rest. A couple of deep breaths in and heels up for flutter kicks. 30 seconds, ready to go. We're going up and down, nice and quick, nice and quick, quick as you can. Let's get the last little bit of work in here and we're gonna stretch things out. Let's go side to side, 
side to side. Couple more seconds, keep it up. And rest. Nice job. Grab some water, everybody. Take a little breather. We're gonna stretch things out, cool things down for the last couple of minutes. So we did a lot of hip flexor and lower body abs or lower abs uh, this session. So the first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna hop into a lizard pose, try and open up in front of that hip and stretch out this region right here. So we're gonna get one knee forward into a really wide lunge and we're gonna bring our forearms or hands down to the ground. If you can't get both forearms down, try and use your outside forearm and then your second one inside of the foot there. Trying to really get deep into those hips. Taking deep breaths in, we're exhaling out. And switch sides, pushing back, bringing the other leg forward, getting into that real wide lunge and sinking the hip down, getting the forearm down, sinking into that hip. Nice. Big deep breath. And press back out. Good. All right. Next up, we're going to do our frog pose here. So I like to go side on the mat so that my knees don't slip as much. But we're going to go out into a wide knee down position. And we're gonna place our forearms down on the ground and we're just gonna press back into the hips, pointing the toes outside. Not having the toes curl under your feet, but pointing towards the outside of the body. Pressing back through the elbows into those hips. Taking nice, big, deep breaths. And slowly bringing your weight forward as you creep out of that stretch, bringing the knees gently back together. That can be a fairly intense one. Definitely don't want to move quickly as we're getting out of that. Okay, so last one of the day, we're going to go into a pigeon and we're going to fold the leg down onto the ground and go down onto our forearms, folding the leg underneath us. Go ahead and switch legs. And bring that leg in front. We're gonna fold down onto the forearms.
and pop him back up. We're going to cut him out, and that'll be it for today. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Appreciate all of you stopping by. Don't forget, we've got our last class of the week, our functional fitness Friday class tomorrow with me at noon. Go ahead and check out our schedule on SharePoint and look at any other classes you might want to take with any of our amazing instructors. Have a great evening. See you guys later.